Today we're going to be exposing all of my younger flaws. Hey guys, what's up? It's Hannah and today I have a video that I kind of just thought would be interesting to film for like a variety of purposes. If you guys did not know, I am a fashion student. That is my major in college, apparel merchandising. That's what I study. Um, I am a double major, but that's not important. When I was a child, I genuinely thought I was like the most fashionable bitch around, okay? I thought my outfits were genius. I thought they were put together works of art. So today I am going to be reviewing my old outfits and it's it's gonna be a walk down memory lane. The scale that I will be rating these outfits on is quite simple. We're gonna go from a one to a 10. A one is gonna be a flop, and 10, of course, is gonna be iconic. Together, we're gonna be deciding which of my childhood outfits were actually iconic and which ones were actually awful and I just didn't know that and nobody was nice enough to tell me because my parents were too nice to me and let me wear whatever I wanted out of the house. <laughs> Starting off with a banger of an outfit. We're just really kicking it off special here. We have this ensemble that I decided to wear on my first day of school. Now, looking at the photo, honestly, I, I thought this outfit was fire. First of all, I just want to like talk about the accessories for a second. We have a strawberry necklace that I had bought from Justice. We have sparkly flip-flops that were in fact not mine but my mom's and then we also have a lovely you know hair tie. I haven't even talked about like the tribal print Justice shirt. Like honestly the combination of all of these pieces is, is kind of iconic, I can't even lie. I'm not gonna give it a 10 iconic because I will say that I just feel like the combination of everything could have been a little better executed. I'm gonna give it like an eight because I was really showing my personal style with this outfit. I thought this was super cute. I remember putting this together and I was so proud. A solid eight. Okay, this next outfit, this was ahead of its time because this was back when belts were not like, I feel like, on trend like they are today but this belt this belt really works it i mean we've got the white like cord belt we've got the low waisted jeans with the cropped tank top i mean that was that was an iconic like just classic mid-2000s look didn't even care that like half my stomach was showing you know i was so carefree like, i feel like this whole outfit could have been like manufactured by air apostle i don't know it's not awful i was still trying to show off my style i'll give it like a six okay this is me and my sister in chicago um i believe i was like 13 or 14 in this picture and honestly i like this outfit i went through this phase where cardigans were my shit i wore cardigans every day of my life my like everyday outfit was a pair of skinny jeans k low waisted obviously because high rise was not a thing yet um and then a solid colored tank top and then a cardigan and then i would often add a scarf and then i had these like they were by ugg they're like ugg boots but they're like made of like sweater material i kind of like this look like i've always been into the very like simplistic look i think i was trying to move away from my um very gaudy days of dressing in my middle school years and i i respect it i'm gonna give it like a like a seven just because it's a little, it's simple, but actually, no, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. I lied. I think this is a good outfit. I would wear this today, sans the, uh, the sweater of boots. <laughs> this outfit right here, I don't know how old I am in this picture. I think I was probably like 14 or 15 years old. I rocked stuff like this all the time. I remember this picture. We took this picture. This is with my sister on New Year's, but I have on a pair of black heels with skinny jeans that are cuffed at the bottom and then just like a regular like purple shirt and then like one of those huge oversized chunky sweaters. You guys are not her sweaters, chunky scarves. Outfits like this that I don't know why there's like something off about this outfit and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's that like I'm wearing heels with this like outfit that like isn't that fancy. <laughs> I don't hate it 
but I also don't love it. I'm gonna give it a six. It's very average and I'm over the chunky scarf trend, so it's just done. Oof, okay, moving on to, uh, this is definitely when I was younger. In this photo, I believe I was like probably 11 or 12 years old, where this was the era of the branded t-shirts, the era postals, okay? The American Eagles, okay? What if Hollister, Abercrombie, oh my God. In this photo, I have on an era postal t-shirt and then a pair of shorts that hit like at my, um, that hit at my like, what is this part of your body called? Look, I, I don't like this outfit, okay? The branded t-shirts time, it really was a time I don't feel like it needed to exist, but it did. I'm gonna give it like a four, zero creativity, zero effort, just threw on whatever I thought was cute. And honestly, like, although I will say the red statement color, I like it. Other than that, it's kind of a flop. It's not even so bad, it's good, it's just boring. And that is, that is the true sin of fashion when it's just like there's nothing there nothing exciting. Now we move into an outfit that I actually like and if I thought that I looked super good in this outfit today I would probably wear something similar. This is the photo. I believe I was like 14 or 15 in this picture. I went through a phase where printed crop top and mega high-waisted shorts. When I mean mega high-waisted, I mean like up to my freaking boobs, okay? Like every single day, this was all I would wear. Printed crop tops from Charlotte Russe and then like ridiculously high-waisted shorts, which I am all for the high-waisted pants. I never want low-rise jeans to come back in style ever. My parents constantly tell me um, that I'm just gonna have to suck it up the day that low rise comes back in style, but I refuse to believe <laughs> that low rise will ever come back in style. Could the crop tops have been a little less tacky? Yes, <laughs> but I don't hate it. Like it has some personality. It has a little flair. I'm gonna give this a six. It, no, a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. Cause like it is kind of cute. I like the floral. I still love a good floral. I'm giving it a seven. This outfit, I'm gonna put up this picture. This outfit, I honestly love this photo. I think this outfit is so iconic. It's just me in a paperboy hat with a nice little trench coat, a little mini trench coat going on, some skinny jeans. I got a nice red lip on. I love this outfit. I would still wear this outfit today, honestly. I think it's so cute. I think it's so simple, but yet like it just works because all the colors match, everything goes together. It looks so nice. My dad, this was actually my dad's hat and he gave me this to take up the picture because he was like, it'll look so cool. But like unironically, it looks good. I love it. I would wear this over again, the hat included killed it. Now let's move on to something that did not kill it. This was my first day of junior year of high school and why? <laughs> this outfit is just, this again, this was a phase where I would only wear crop tops and high-waisted shorts and then like throw a cardigan over it. It's just such a, shall I say, basic look. Also, I was balayaging my hair like all the time at the time that I took this photo because I was like 16. And so I had like all blonde on the top, but then underneath you can see that it's like not all blonde. It's like brown. I don't know. This outfit, dude, it's just not great. It's just not great, is it? We're giving it a four. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> we've hit a not so good one. This was my first day of senior year. And I, I don't know, I don't know. It's not awful, but like we could have done so much better. <laughs> the shirt was this like weird, I remember, I don't own this anymore, but it was like this weird flannel that like cut, a, I don't even know, it was like connected. So I like tried to make it like tuck in, but it would never tuck. And then I just wore these like weird light denim jacket, jacket shorts, and then these like brown flats. I be This was the year that I became obsessed with flats. It was all I would wear. I had these black flat shoes and then these brown flats, and they were the only shoes I would wear the entirety of my senior year of high school. The whole look and then like the pink backpack just five. <laughs> Actually four. This deserves less than a five. Three. Three. We keep going down. This is me and my mom. I believe I was 16 in this photo. This was actually on Mother's Day. Fun fact. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> I, you know what? I have mixed opinions on this outfit. Part of me is like, what, what was I doing? Okay, we have like this weird cropped rock top and then like with the, with the bow and then like these like biker shorts and then like I have on those black flats that I was obsessed with but part of me with the blonde hair thinks that this is kind of a look. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Like, it's like I look at it and then I'm like, ugh. But then I'm like, hmm, but then I can't decide. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give it a seven. I think it looks good. This is a picture of me and my aunt in New York City. I believe I was like 18. Yeah, this was right after I graduated. So I was like, I had just turned 18 in this photo. Um, I don't know what's going on with this outfit. <laughs> so I had on like this sheer floral blouse thing that I tied up in the front. I have on a pair of low rise, <laughs> light, denim jeans and then I actually do like the shoes that I'm wearing they're kind of like these like flat form shoes I don't know I like them I still have them but the outfit just together doesn't work and then my hair is like naturally wavy like these pieces together just don't go together you know what I mean I'm gonna give it like a like a four. so that was me judging all of my outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just figured it would be fun to take a little walk down memory lane since I am an acclaimed fashion student now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining for you. I know this was super random, but I just thought it would be a fun idea. Um, and I hope that I'm a little more fashionable now. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell right next to it so you can see every time I post a video because, you know, I think they're pretty good, pretty funny. Also, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like it to let me know and comment down below because I want to know what you guys want to see. I'm always down for your ideas. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and for supporting my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!